Hi, it's Kit with SVJator. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine stroke path animations with morph animation, how to set a custom starting point for the stroke offset, and also how to export the animation to play back and forward without using more keyframes for that. I'll show you real quick how I prepared the SVG in Illustrator, where I've also created a grid with the unit of 10 by 10 pixels, so it will help me work more precisely. I also want my starting point for the stroke offset animation here at the center of the top horizontal line. So, using the pen tool, I will add three points here on the line. The second one, and the third one, which I will now delete to break the line. Now I have to place this point on top of the other one. Just like this. Good. I can now delete the lines I used as a grid. And I also want to make the stroke a little wider. 10 will do just fine. And now let's take our shield to SVJator. First, let's turn the grids on here. And from the snapping options, make sure you have Snap to Grid on. Now I'm going to use the Node tool and choose Morph from the animators list. Drag the playhead to 0.5 seconds and start dragging and arranging the points to create a new shape, the shape of a crown. I'm going to fast forward through this process just to save us both a little bit of time. And I'm almost done. I just want to make sure everything is symmetrical. There. Now drag the playhead back to zero and add the Stroke Offset Animator. A good thing to do is to disable the Morph animation for the moment while working on the Stroke Path animation. Now let's go and set the path length as offset and use the Multiply option to double the value for the offset and also copy the path length to the dashes. Drag the playhead to 0.5 seconds and use the path length for offset. Drag the playhead ahead another half a second and type 0 in the offset input. Now, let's enable back the morph animation. Let's see how this animation looks. You can see that the stroke won't go all the way to the top of the crown. And that's because the path length is bigger now because of the morphing we did. You see how the length changes while the shape is morphing. To fix this, we need to drag the playhead to 0.5 seconds and add the Stroke Dashes animator. Then at 1 second, copy the path length to the Dashes input. There. I'm going to adjust some timing now by dragging around a few of the keyframes here. I want it to start morphing before the stroke offset starts growing for the second time. And also, let's drag these two at the same position with the morph keyframe. Let's check. I think it's good enough now. I will now duplicate the path and rename the duplicate one, the one from above. We'll call it stroke by double-clicking on its name and typing in Stroke. Okay. And I'll also rename the other one Fill. With the Fill object selected, I'll go to the Stroke properties and disable the Stroke. And I'll set a Fill color. Let's go with Yellow. I like Yellow. And I want to detach the fill element by moving it a little, like this. Let me disable the snapping options and adjust it a little bit more. Perfect. The stroke could also use a color other than black, so let's try a dark blue instead. Okay. Now let's see the animation. One more thing I want to do here is to animate the opacity of the fill element. 
Let's expand the timeline height just a little bit. And now add the opacity animator. And see where to set up the first keyframe. Actually, before that, I will select all the keyframes and drag them a little so the first one will start at 0.3 seconds. Drag the opacity keyframe as well. And somewhere around here, about 0.6 seconds. I'll set the opacity to zero. Next, go to 0.9 seconds and duplicate the keyframe with 0% opacity and at 1.2 seconds, the one with 100% opacity. Okay, now let's hit play. Three seconds are way too much time for this animation. So I will set the duration for 1.4 seconds. I will also want it to play on loop, so for that I'll check infinite here. And to make the animation go back and forward, I'll select alternate here on direction. Now let's preview it. And here it is, playing on loop, back and forward, like a boomerang effect combining stroke path animations with morphing between two shapes with different path lengths. Be sure to check out our other SVJader tutorial videos. Thanks for watching.